Hello guys, this is MK. So the problem today we have is let's say you have an API that receives a very large input and you, your user, your client or your tester does not want to repeat the process of writing requests again and again. Now one way to resolve this is to have a sample request saved on your desktop and use it whenever you want to run the API. But what if you are not on your desktop and you want to run the API? You can't. A better way to do this is to have that sample request on the Swagger page. That way, wherever you can access the Swagger page, you will have that sample request to test the API with. There are two ways to do this. One is through XML comments and one through iExample provider interface inside ASP.NET Core filters. Let's see how it's done. So this is a completely new ASP.NET Core web app developed on .NET 5 using Visual Studio 2022. All the changes that I have done so far are as follows. I have added two models to represent our request. I have added an API inside home controller which receives our model as our request. I have added two packages for Swagger namely swashbuckle.aspnet core and swashbuckle.aspnet core.filters and finally I have added my Swagger inside my startup.cs file using add swagger gen method inside configure services and use swagger use swagger ui method using inside configure method now if you run this api right now and visit its swagger page you will see our api and a default request but no sample request let's change that the first and very easy way to do this is by using XML comments. So by using XML comments, uh, you can first give the summary. So let's say this API gets some data. And then by using a tag called remarks, you can add your sample request as well. So uh, here you can add your sample request. I have it uh, with me copied uh, to save time. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. So here I have given some default values to my request and have added that. Now let's run this. Let's visit the Swagger page. And now when you see, you find out that a sample request is being shown. The problem with this kind of approach is number one, it does not look professional. Number two, uh, it's very difficult to read when the properties are too many. And number three, when you actually want to use this, you need to copy this and then paste it here while using. Now there is a better way to do this, a more professional way to do this. Let's find out how. So first of all, let's minimize this and for that new method, I'm going to add a filter. Now guys, I'm going to add this filter inside my root folder, but I would ask you guys to install this, uh, to add this uh, as appropriate by your solution hierarchy. So let's name this swagger example. Now we need to inherit this from an interface called iExample provider. The first add references for person and then for iExample provider which is present in ASP.NET Core.filters. Now this interface has a method called getExamples. Using this method we will return a sample request that we want to show on our Swagger page. So let's return a new sample for person uh, let's fill some properties phone number can be something along the lines of this and then the address for address I'm again going to say a new address since this is a sample request and I'm not, not going to do anything fancy and just going to say line 1 for line 1 and line 2 
for line 2 now we have created our sample request that we want to show on our swagger page now let's add it to the application for that we need to go to startup file and inside add swagger gen method we need to include c dot example filters and to include this press control dot and include the package and finally we need to add services dot add swagger examples from assembly of and here we need to provide the name of the example class so swagger example in our case and now when you run this and visit the swagger page you will see the request uh, sample request is being shown here as well the advantage of this is that when you want to use it and you press try it out the request is automatically created now this approach one is uh, not suggested to be used for this uh, display of sample request you must use this for uh, description purposes but if you want to have multiple sample request you can do this the, uh, this way so there it is guys uh, have fun thanks for watching